Good evening, everybody. I'm Victoria with meteorologist Ryan Henning, and I am here with another road trip on our series of non-stop video forecasts. Um, we're going to be going from Salisbury, Maryland to Dayton, Ohio. It's a one-day trip. It's only nine hours between the two cities, so we'll average about 66 to 67 miles an hour uh, if things go according to plan. Obviously, going through the Baltimore, D.C. area, that can be a little dicey. Um, and with weather on the horizon, it might slow us down even further still, um, especially, you know, Morgantown through the Appalachians, that part of the world. Uh, so let's take a look and see what the weather is going to be doing. Right now, there's a big area of low pressure uh, right off the Carolina coast. It's a lot of moisture moving inland. The inverted trough associated with this system is, um, this is the 6Z forecast, so it's about right now. This will work for what we're, we're talking about. Um, it's bringing moisture. It's mostly rain at this juncture, um, particularly east of the Appalachians, all the way in through Kentucky. Um, and then as this low winds up and moves north, it's going to pull some of that moisture inland, um, especially if you leave, well, it's actually both the GFS and the NAM, um, with our little uh, inverted trough hooking up with some moisture in the, uh, in the Great Lakes there. But uh, the low is going to be shifting north through New England, through the day tomorrow. This is as far as we're going to get uh, with our drive time. So the good news is there's not a big precip event inland. So as we get going between 12 and 18 Z um, on these two two time periods, that's the GFS and that's the NAM, you can see there's not much going on. There's a little dry slot through the Delmarva, Salisbury's, the Maryland portion of that peninsula, and then moving up through um, Northern Virginia into into West Virginia, we might eventually start to see some rain and snow uh, once we get into the eastern panhandle of West Virginia. But it does look like the snow cuts off pretty immediately after you uh, get through the Ohio River Valley, uh, which is great news. There's probably going to be a few clouds, um, but it doesn't look like there's going to be any moisture. And we're at a point where it's warm enough that any little bit of moisture isn't going to fall as still like it can, you know, when it's colder in the, the dead of winter. Temperatures are going to be around freezing, um, maybe even above freezing. And when I say snow, um, I mean only in the highest points of West Virginia. Northern Virginia, it's probably just going to be a chilly rain, which is going to be great as well. Uh, that won't slow us down as much as the traffic in D.C. will. So that's that's great news, I think. Uh, could be a lot worse, like if we were leaving from Boston tomorrow, but we're not. We're leaving from Salisbury, Maryland, where everything looks good, and we will get to Dayton, Ohio, relatively unscathed. Have a great night. I'm Victoria Weather Meteorologist Ryan Henning, and we'll talk to you next time.